Artificial intelligence is already transforming the way we learn, discover, and solve problems. From breakthroughs in science, like protein structure prediction, to accelerating drug design, AI is truly improving our lives. Our guest today is Ken Walker, president of global affairs at Google. We will discuss how AI unlocks new paths for progress through science, innovation, and cross-sector collaboration. Hi, Kent. Thank you for being here. We are living a very special moment in history. What makes this moment so unique? Romero, the things we're seeing in AI are really extraordinary. We talk about spanning from the everyday to the extraordinary. The speed and the scale of these changes are remarkable. The scale, we are seeing dramatic economic improvements. McKinsey is saying AI will bring $22 trillion in value to the global economy in the coming years. That's larger than the entire US economy. And the speed of these changes is remarkable. AI is a general purpose technology, so it has application not just in chatbots, but in healthcare, material science, uh, clean water for people around the world. It's an extraordinarily exciting time. So this fast pace is enabling already amazing discoveries at a speed that we have never seen before. So how is Google collaborating with academia and scientific institutions to enable that? One example is our AlphaFold technology. Uh, this is helping solve a 50-year scientific challenge in how proteins are folded in the human body. And by understanding that, we are now working with more than two and a half million researchers around the world to progress that in the cure of disease and diagnosis. The first AI-generated medications will be going into clinical trials by the end of this year. So it's a very exciting time. And then we are also working with researchers here in Brazil, the University of Sao Paulo and elsewhere, on responsible AI to understand the governance and the structure of how society can use these tools. So it's super clear that countries leading in AI will shape the future. So what is, in your view, the role of governments in this new paradigm shift? We often say in Silicon Valley that the winners of technology races are not necessarily the first countries to invent a technology, but the best countries to deploy it. So that means we need to work together with governments in Brazil and throughout Latin America to make sure people are adopting these new tools. As you start to see governments putting these tools to work, Businesses are following suit, and we now have hundreds of startups across Brazil working with our various programs, and the government itself is, we are working with the foundation FGV to help skill and train more and more government people at senior levels and at the apprenticeship levels to understand the power of AI tools to improve government services. So you spoke about government and about academia and institutions, but also innovation is coming from the ground up, and that is coming mostly for startups. Yes. What makes the startup landscape in Latin America so particular? Latin America has a huge advantage because there is so much enthusiasm about artificial intelligence. It's one of the most optimistic regions of the world, and that optimism is a strategic advantage. So we now see people taking it up and using it in their daily lives. There are more than three, 630 different startups across LATAM working with our Google for Startups programs and using AI in their daily business. That ranges from companies like Huna here in Brazil, using AI for medical applications, to companies like KAI in Mexico, which is helping people with their daily management of their calendar and their time planning. So it's a very fertile, exciting opportunity for lots of businesses, from small to large, to change how they operate. It's really a remarkable time for innovation in Brazil, in Latin America, and around the world. Clearly, AI is much more than new technology. It's changing the way we do things. So thank you for being with us here and sharing your, your view. Ramiro, it's been a real pleasure. We are very excited about this new AI-driven era of innovation and look forward to working with people throughout Brazil, throughout Latin America, to make this a success for everybody. Thank you, Gent. Thank you.